There was no intro. I was waiting for the intro. <laughs> get ready to build confidence, get stronger, and reach your goals. Hey there. All right, we are back again. Short, um, short break for the intro, and now here we are, ready for our live Saturday strength session. I am so excited that you are here. This is my favorite day of the week. You probably know that already, though, because we get to hang out. We get to kick butt together. Today's workout is going to be a full body workout. It's going to run us just about 30 minutes, and we are going to include the warm-up in this one. The only thing you're going to need if you want a cushy surface, so if grab a mat um, in your dumbbells. So other than that, that's all we're going to need for this workout. We have three rounds. Each round is gonna work either the upper, the lower, or the core. Some of them are gonna get a little bit of everything as well. So with that said, I think it's time to get right into our warm up, and I'll explain the time. I'm getting better with this, hopefully. <laughs> Keep thinking positive here. I'm getting better at talking and stretching at the same time, or warming up. So we're gonna get into our warm up, and then we'll get right into our workout. So first things first, let's start with wrist circles. Getting our, we're just gonna work it from the tips down to the toes here. So warming up the wrist, then we're gonna switch opposite side, and breathing. Hopefully you've had a good week. Switch it one more dire or other direction, and then we'll switch it back the other direction finally, and then we'll move into arm circles. Last one, here's three, two, and one. Now taking it back, big arm circles, and exhaling as you reach. Good. Five more, and then we'll take it front. Thank you, Shantae, yes. Start your watch if you wanna do that. And last circle here. Now we're gonna rotate it forward. So big circles forward, warming up the shoulder joints because our first exercise in will be a shoulder press. We wanna make sure the shoulder's nice and warm. Four more, here's four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take arm across and hold it for a second and open it back up. So get the hips moving, rotating the weight or the core and opening, good. Open and across. Two more and then we'll switch. Two, last one and open, good. Now we're gonna take it other side. So take it across and open. Again, really get that twist in here. So each time you come across, twisting a little bit more. Good. Three more. Two. Last one. Now from here, we're gonna reach. When you reach, I want you to reach back behind you just a little bit at an angle. So this is really gonna stretch out that back and the core. Good and back, alternating sides one way and then the other, and exhale, each time you take it, take it just a little bit deeper into that, and this will be the last one, good, from here we're going to do good morning, so warming up a little bit in the lower body and the core, hands behind your head, we're going to lean forward and squeeze up down, core is engaged, and up, push the hips forward, down, good, and up, keep that core engaged, we'll do four more, and then we're going to start warming up the hips, two, and up, push those hips back, good, and there's one, so from here we're going to do hip circles now, opening, good, and marching, marching it out. Work timer today will be on for 45 seconds. Rest timer in between sets will be on for 20, and in between rounds, rest is gonna be for 45 seconds. Last one here, and then now from here, we're gonna take warming up that quad, and then we're gonna tuck it in. And then reach for the quad, good, and in. Working the balance, but hey, if we've been working out for the last few weeks, We've really been working on some balance moves. And back, last one in for the pull, and last one here for the quad, switch sides. Good, so tuck it in, and back. And the way this workout is structured, there's four exercises in each round. Usually, usually we'll work horizontal loading where we will do 
the exercise back to back before moving on. But this time we're gonna work each exercise one time through, then we're gonna repeat that two times through. So we're gonna be working down the list for our exercises today. Last pull here, good. Now widening your stance, we're gonna do a side to side lunge, almost through the warm up, so we're getting ready to get into it. But I just wanna make sure everything's all nice and toasty and warm before we begin. Good. Down. Now if you can take it just a little bit lower into each one, start to do that. Keeping your chest up though. And switch. Almost there, last one on this side. And up, all right, we are gonna get ready to go right into our workout. If you remember, I mentioned first exercise is going to be a shoulder press. So because we're not working the exercises back to back, go heavy because your muscles are gonna get a bit of a break before hitting that exercise again. So really challenge yourself with weight today and let's do this. Wait, this isn't the recording. I usually am like, let's do this and then it goes blank for a second. Okay, we're live. <laughs> All right, let's get our dumbbells. Shoulder press, arms are up. 45 seconds on the clock, here we go. And exhale as you lift. Take your time through each rep. Good. Slight bend in your knees, either a staggered stance like this, or you can have a little bit of a wider stance. Whatever gives you the most balance, the most comfort, and the most support for this exercise. Good, over halfway. Awesome, finish out strong. You've got 10 seconds. Right now is when you decide, did you go heavy enough? Is this weight really challenging you? This is gonna be the last rep. Whew, all right. Got the facial expressions going on, so I'm gonna say, yep, that was the right weight. Next, dead bug. So no dumbbells for this one. You can set your weights down, bring it onto the mat. For dead bug, you can hold it just like this with legs at 90 degrees and arms up, keeping that low back pressed in, or you can do the alternating arm and leg lower. But we've gotta begin, here we go. So make sure that low back is praying, what am I, staying pressed in to the mat. Good, and extend, and up. Whew. Nice, reach it back. But again, if you're just holding that position, make sure that low back is pressed into the mat. And if you are lowering the legs and you feel your low back start to arch, stop your leg before that arches and then bring it back up. Almost there, four seconds. Last one, extend Whew. and up, awesome. 20 seconds, bringing it back up going into a tricep kickback now. So that looks just like this. We'll be hinged over, back flat, arms up, and kick it back. So grab your dumbbells for this one. Breathing, three seconds, hinge it over, bring it up, and let's begin. Okay, triceps are, this week, for the upcoming workouts, triceps are being worked. So you may feel those, this next week. Exhale as you extend. And make sure you're extending all the way, holding it at the top just for a second, then controlling it back in. Nice, 15 seconds. If you get a chance in the chat while we're resting, while I'm explaining the next exercise, do you like the vertical loading or the horizontal? Do you like doing the exercises back to back or do you like getting them all done and then repeating? Just curious, just curious. There's a different variation, so you know it works in different ways, but we are going into a Romanian deadlift with a row. So we'll go down, hold it at the bottom, row it up, and then come back up to the top. So grab your dumbbells for that. So working both upper and lower now. Awesome compound exercise. Here we go, down. Hold it down, row it up, control, and squeeze it up. Down, squeeze, good. 
push the hips forward at the top. Make sure you're still working the hams and the glutes. And up. Good. Was anyone feeling their back after the scapular retractors that we did last week? Oh my word, I'm telling you. Taking just a little bit of the move of the exercise and really working it, I'll tell you what, that makes a huge difference. Last one, row it up. We've got 20 seconds, then we go right back into shoulder press. So if you started with a heavy weight, try to stick with that because the shoulders have gotten a nice amount of rest in between. So hopefully that means you can go with the same weight or maybe even heavier. But we've got to grab it because we've got three seconds. So bring it on up, two and one. Here we go and press. Nice, wrists are straight. And up, good. Okay, caught myself on that one. Make sure you're not trying to power up through the move. We're just working the shoulders right now. Not trying to do a push press, anything like that. All shoulders. And make sure your shoulders are down away from your ears. Make sure they're not coming up to your ears as you press. 10 seconds. Oh my goodness, last shoulder exercise, so make it count. Time for one more. Then we're gonna work that core again. Last one, nice. All right, dead bug. Going into it, so no dumbbells. Bring it onto the mat. I'm always rushing in between sets when I know I get to bring it to the mat. I'm like, I'm gonna drop it right down, right here. All right, five seconds. So you can either hold it 90 degrees, pressing that back into the floor, arms up or alternating. Here we go. And up. Good. Make sure, I just want to remind, make sure your knees aren't close into your chest here. Make sure you're really thinking about that 90 degrees with the knees. Good. Whew, 15 seconds. Three seconds, two, and one. We're gonna bring it back up, the Romanian deadlift with the row. No, 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 tricep kickbacks. I said to myself, I'm not gonna miss an exercise. When we did this the last time through, I missed, or like the, the vertical, I missed a, an exercise. Uh, we are going in two, tricep kickbacks. So grab your dumbbells for that. Hinge it over, back flat, core engaged, and let's begin. Good, and press. Keep a slight bend in your knees as well. You don't wanna lock your legs out with this nice and slight bend. Arms close to your body. Oh yay, okay, good, almost there. 15 seconds. Breathe and press. Five, three, two, and one. Nice, now we're going into Romanian deadlift with a row. So again, if you can go a little bit heavier, grab those dumbbells. Clock is ticking, 10 seconds to go. Breathing, shoulders roll down and back before we go. So just nice and relaxed here with your dumbbells. And let's begin. So hinge it nice and slow down with the Romanian deadlift. Stop it at the bottom, hold it. Row and squeeze, control it down and back up. Pull, push the hips. I know, that's a, that's a lot. We are focusing on a lot right now. So just take each move individually so you can keep the best form throughout. Good, 15 seconds down. Shoulder blades around spine. We've got time, one more. Bring it down, row it out, and now we get 45 seconds. 
Oh, I was trying to catch him. <laughs> I always confuse Jason when we have different rest times in between the rounds. But hey, if he was maybe if he was out here doing the workout, well, that would not actually work now that I'm thinking with him. Uh, I need someone to push the buttons. Because we all know he's wonderful at pushing buttons. Anyways. <laughs> Round two. Same thing, we're gonna be working the upper body, we're gonna be working the lower body, and we're gonna be working the, ca the car. We're gonna be working the car. So get your car ready. Let's bring it, bring it My words are not coming out right today. All right, bring it on. That's gonna be really fun for cycling, I already know. We are gonna do a single arm fire hydrant. So one arm is gonna, one arm is gonna be out, we're gonna lift and lower. So that's the exercise. Shoulder, elbow, wrist in line, hold it out. You can modify by bringing it down. But if not, let's begin. Lift and squeeze. So it's the opposite arm to opposite leg. This really works the core. I am not joking. <laughs> We've done this one before and it's very challenging. So keep the core engaged. When you bring it up, squeeze, good. And then control it back down. So next we're just gonna switch sides. I, what, we still have 20 seconds and I'm already like, okay, next exercise. Let's move on. Good. Do you feel this challenge here with this core? Oh my goodness. Almost there, five seconds. And one, good. You can press it back. We're just gonna switch sides. So same thing, now opposite arm to opposite leg and we will fire hydrant and we will do that in five seconds. I'm ready to go. All right, here we go. So lift and lower and squeeze, good. So keeping your neck neutral, you don't wanna to look too far down or too far up. Just wherever your eyes fall comfortably. Keep that arm out strong. Nice job, 15 seconds. Almost there, five seconds. Here's three, two, this is gonna be it. And one, nice job. Now, bringing it down, we're staying on the mat. All exercises on the mat for this one, we're gonna do an alternating cross body crunch. Now you can keep your hands behind your head and just move the upper body or you can get that lower body involved and march the legs out opposite knee to opposite elbow. But let's begin, here we go, 45 seconds. So really working the core with this round. Good, and exhale as you squeeze and crunch. Work at your own pace, you may be working a little bit slower, maybe a little bit faster. As long as you've got the form, that's all that matters. And squeeze, good. Almost there, come on, 15 seconds. We're gonna work chest next. So core will get a bit of a break. Five seconds, ooh, almost there, two and one. Okay, nice. All right, so we're gonna mix the chest press up a little bit and we're gonna do a reverse grip chest press. I love this one for just a variation of the chest press. So palms are gonna be towards your, your head, towards the wall behind you, and we're gonna lift and lower. You're gonna keep those arms nice and close to your side as you bring it down. So they'll be at just a slight angle out from your body. So grab your dumbbells, getting ready to go. Here we go, roll it back. Palms are facing you, and let's begin. And down, good. Wrists stay straight. And up. Challenging variation, right? Whew. Down and press, less than 20 to go. Well over halfway. And then we're gonna repeat once more through. 
10 seconds. Oh my, oh my. Three seconds, two, and you made it. Nice job, 20 seconds. We're gonna stay down here. Ooh, I like round two. Round two is, oh wait, we're doing fire hydrants with one arm up, never mind. Round two, never mind. Change that. <laughs> All right, so same thing. Fire hydrant on one side, opposite arm to opposite leg. Now, if you're working on getting your balance for this one, maybe you do just a couple reps with the arm up and then bring it down and work on adding more. But here we go, arm is up, fire hydrant. Nice. And lift, good. But you can see you really have to keep that core engaged with this one to help you with your balance. Over halfway. You can definitely even feel that other side working, stabilizing. Ooh, good. Mm, almost there. Five seconds, you've got it. Keep going, keep going. Two and one. Nice. You can press it back if you need to. We're just gonna switch it over. So switching it up, opposite arm to opposite leg from what you just did. We go in 10 seconds. I was on this, okay. Five seconds, here we go. Arm is out and we fire hydrant. Can that be a verb, you think? It feels weird as a verb. It feels like it should still be a noun. <laughs> but I guess, you know, we are about mixing words up around here sometimes and lift and squeeze. You can even challenge yourself just by keeping your hand almost as a kickstand out here and then start to work it all the way up if you find that having your arm up in the air is too challenging right now for the core. Good, lift and lower. Two, ooh, and one. Back into that alternating cross body crunch. Now again, you can just bring opposite elbow to opposite knee, hands behind your head, or you can march it out. We have 10 seconds. <sighs> Breathing. The exhale happens as you crunch. So really get those shoulder blades up off of the mat. And here we go. <sighs> really crunch. Good. Also over halfway through the workout. So keep it up. Nice. 18 seconds. Try to pick up your pace just a little bit if you can. Really crunch it out, getting that shoulder blade up. Almost there. Seven seconds. Okay, three, two, and one. Whew. 20 seconds. Final time to hit chest. Final exercise of round two before we move on to round three. We are going to grab our dumbbells for that reverse grip chest press. So roll it on back because we've got five seconds. So palms facing you. And let's begin. 45 seconds. And down, good. Exhale as you press up. Nice job. Almost halfway there. Eighteen. Come on, did you go heavy enough? You've got 10 seconds left, so really make this count. Keep your form, keep your focus in three, two, last one. Oh, nice job. 45 seconds on the timer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, last time you're gonna have to worry about 45 seconds because we last and final round. We're on the last round. That means we've got four exercises to go. We're gonna bring it back up. 
next exercise is going to be a squat with an alternating side leg lift. So for that, that'll look like we'll have the dumbbells up here on top or you can keep it more like a suitcase squat. We're gonna be down, lift, down, other side lift. So we're really gonna be working the glutes on this one. Grab your dumbbells, make sure you're going heavy enough. Only time for squats is round three where we're gonna do this squat with alternating leg lift. So here we go, 45 seconds. Down and lift, good. And lift. Now if you're doing it with the dumbbells right down next to you, look just like that. And you can use the weight as just a little bit more resistance if you'd like to do that. Good, down and lift. Working on your balance here. Fifteen seconds. In the city of angels, feels like I'm coming. Keeping your chest up as you lift, and as well as trying to keep that chest up as you lift the leg down. Last one, and lift. Twenty seconds. Bicep curls. So all the way down, all the way up. We go in twelve seconds. If you need a drink, dry off. Perfect time to do it. Ooh, yay, bicep curls. Last upper body that we have not exercised for today as well. So here we go, 45 seconds. Lift and squeeze. Shoulders are rolled down and back, away from your ears. Keeping those elbows and arms nice and close to your body for this. And squeeze, good. I was gonna say one other way that you might know if you're going heavy enough is if when you're lifting, you let out like a little bit of like a grunt or something, then you're like, oh yeah. When you like didn't mean to, you're like, da 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 da. Mm, oh, yep, I'm going heavy enough. You see, you get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So just another side note, if you do happen to do that during your workout, you are going heavy enough. And I just wanna say, yay. Last one, nice job. All right, glute bridge with a hold at the top. So one or two dumbbells, but we're gonna bring it onto the mat. So let's pop it on down. I feel like sometimes I do that during our workouts while we're in the video and I can't adjust the audio. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Real cool. All right, so getting ready, glute bridge. We're gonna hold it at the top. So hold it. Five is the time. Okay, thank you. Two and one, bring it down, tap it quick. Squeeze it up, hold it for five, four, three, two, down, right back up, hold it for five. Right now, we're working at the same tempo to make sure we're holding it up for five. There's down, squeeze it up, push the hips up, hold it, three, two, and one. And yes, my, my five seconds may take longer than your five seconds, but who's counting anyway? <laughs> Just kidding. Quick squeeze, 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 squeeze. Two, and one, nice, weight is in your heels. Make sure your knees aren't caving in or out. Let's just hold it. This is a long five seconds. I've not, I've not experienced the five seconds that was that long before, but today, hey, always something new. 20 seconds, we're going into a crunch pulse. So if you want to use a dumbbell for this, you can definitely use a dumbbell. We're gonna hold each end of your dumbbell. If you've got that dumbbell, if you don't have the dumbbell, hands behind your head, we're gonna pulse it up just like that. We've gotta begin, 45 seconds, here we go. Pulse it up, little crunch up and down. And squeeze. Oh yeah, darn it, I, I talked about this in our, um, our workouts this week, how my, I don't know if anyone ever, if anyone else experiences this, but the dumbbells, they must have some sort, sort of coating on them because it always gets on my pants. And before we even started the workouts, my pants were all stained up. So, just so you know, but it doesn't stain. It comes out in the washing machine, but it's just annoying when it happens, you know? So these pants are stained for now. Anyways, Whew. okay, keeping our mind off the burn. We've got three, two, and one. Nice, okay. We get to bring it back up, back for that squat with alternating side leg lift. So the dumbbells you aren't using are safely stowed away in an overhead compartment. Just kidding, I'm I always thought it would be so fun to be a flight attendant. So sometimes that comes out. 
All right, 45 seconds squat with the alternating side lifts. Here we go. Down and squeeze. Keep that foot flexed as you lift. And down, good. Anything we need to announce for the strength, Jason? Just while I'm thinking about it, because I know we're gonna be cutting it close to get things flipped. I think the only thing, free shipping in the shop if you're looking for butt kicker, team climb. Yeah, until anything. tomorrow, free shipping. Until tomorrow. Or, I mean, through tomorrow, today yeah. and tomorrow. Okay. Also, it's almost my mom's birthday. So mom, I think you're here. Last one. She's Happy, here. Happy birthday, birthday, Sue. Yeah. All right, so bringing it, no, 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 bicep curl. I am having a problem with my hair today. It is like all over my face, I don't know why. Bicep curls, not missed an exercise yet, not gonna happen, we're almost there. I, you probably know what a bicep curl is, so <laughs> let's begin. And squeeze. Good, exhale as you lift, and squeeze. But I will tell you, the new workouts we have coming this week, we have a challenge ride coming out on Monday. That is where I'm gonna challenge you to increase your resistance, to find your new number. So to find your new five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we're gonna do that, that's our challenge ride. And then we have a functional full body on Tuesday, I think it is. And then just a short but super intense full body strength and power session. So that one was fun. I'm telling you, I was so tough for that one, surprisingly. Down, nice, all right. So bringing it down to the mat. Glute bridge with that hold. Timer's going by quick, but guess what? We've got two exercises left before we finish out. Going at eight seconds, so remember that hold. We're gonna hold it up at the top for five counts. And let's begin. So hold it, five, four, three, two, Bring it down. We're gonna lift and squeeze it back up. Here we go. Squeeze. Two and one. Down. Pop it up, hold it. Three, two, one. Down and up. Push the hips up, really squeeze. That's one. Good. And up. Three, two, one. Check your knees, make sure they're not caving in. Almost there, because I know the legs are starting to get tired. That's it, all right, pop it back up. We're gonna hold it till the timer's up. And one, oh yay, 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 yay. Okay, crunch pulse is next. If you wanna use your dumbbell, grab that, this is it. So if you've got a little bit of extra energy, grab that dumbbell and let's get ready to go. Eight seconds. So holding on to either end or we'll begin and it'll look just like this. So here we go, 45 seconds. Crunch pulsing with hands behind your head or dumbbell. Get those shoulder blades up, keep them up. So that's the goal, that's what the pulse is about. So just a little move up and down with those shoulder blades up off of the mat. Good, exhale as you lift. Yay, over halfway. Oh, come on, you've got it, 15 seconds now. Keep pulsing, keep pushing. Whew. Eight seconds. All right, I'm gonna count you down for four, three, two, and you are the bomb. Oh yes, if you've got your dumbbell, carefully set it down. Sit it on up, and if you can make it for cycling, I would love to see you over on the cycling channel because that is gonna be in, boop. Oh, God, okay, 25 minutes, we've got to go. 25 minutes, I'll see you in the cycling channel. If you're done for your, with your workouts for today, make sure to grab a stretch, have an amazing weekend, and I love ya.